Food and drink specials. This has been a, a topic of conversation lately. Um, in John Taffer's book, the one that uh, the called Raising the Bar that's on this website. So find it, download it, and read it. It's got some awesome information in it. He talks about specials, what to do to make an effective one, and which ones don't work. And the simple rule of thumb that almost everybody makes this, this uh, mistake is they're not aggressive enough. Everybody's so scared to make an aggressive special who goes, oh my God, we're going to lose our ass. People are going to come in in droves and just eat and drink the place dry. It doesn't work like that. If, if, you're, if you've got specials out there that are like a 5% off of something or 10% off this with 20 restrictions on it and um, anything, usually percentages don't work unless it's 50% and above. So I wouldn't use a percentage. I would use a two for one. I would use a free something. Those sound so much better to the consumer. Um, I guess look at it from your, your perspective as a customer, as a consumer. What do you go for? What do you, what resonates with you? What kind of specials would you go after? In, uh, in John's book, he talks about the most effective one that he's ever done is free entrees. It's the most aggressive one you can get. Um, two for one entrees are free. Two for one obviously makes them bring a friend and makes them pay for one. So don't be afraid to do some aggressive deals out there. If you do it, do it for a one day only thing. Uh, post it on social media, put it everywhere. You've got to blast email the day before, even the day of that morning. But make something that's super aggressive so people get in the door. I hear all the time from, from uh, restaurant owners, restaurant managers that I know, they're like, you know, food and drink specials, they just don't work. No one cares. That's exactly why. They're using these little chicken shit 10% off things. Nobody cares about that. So anyway, read the book. Make some good, aggressive specials, even if they're temporary, even if they're over one night, one even on your slow night. On that point, don't try to, I'm going to make a video about focusing on your strengths and not your weaknesses, but don't try to make a special conform to the times where you're super slow and you need someone in the door. There's a reason why you're really, really slow because people either don't have the time, it's not convenient for them, you're in a different part of town, they're not there at that hour. It doesn't make sense. Do it during a time that you're busier, even happy hour time on a Friday. I mean, your peak time's obviously not, but something in the middle there where people are gonna be in the neighborhood, they're gonna be in, you know, they're hungry. They wanna go out somewhere, they need an excuse, they need a, a, a special to take advantage of. Anyway, um, that's it for that one. I will uh, talk, the next video I'm gonna do is probably gonna be about working on your, your, uh, your strengths and not your weaknesses. So anyway, uh, thank you, have a good day.